Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to uninstall slash deactivate your Windows 7 license key. This is useful if you have an old PC you want to sell and then use your license on a new PC. It is very important to note that there are several rules or software agreements between you and Microsoft that determine if you are allowed to use your license on another PC. Typically, retail, volume, and special OEM licenses allow you to reinstall the license to a new machine. It is best to check what type of license you have before continuing. Oh, and make sure that you have your product key saved too as this tutorial will remove it. There are several guides available on the internet to recover your product key in case you forgot it or lost it. So to begin, we'll first need to make sure that we have an active internet connection on our PC to make sure that we can communicate to the Microsoft servers. So I'm connected via Wi-Fi and then we'll just open up a web, web browser and then we see that we can go to google.com. So we have working internet. So and then secondly, we'll need to have administrative rights to PC. So because any changing in licenses on the operating system requires administrative rights. So let's check that Windows is activated. So we'll go to computer and then go to properties. And then we see that Windows is activated at the bottom right here. I'm running also Windows 7 Ultimate. So then we'll close out of this. And then now we'll go back to the start button and type in CMD, so command prompt. And then we'll right click on command prompt and run as administrator. Click yes. And then now we're at uh, system 32, which is the console or part for administrative rights. So then we're gonna type in this simple command. So S L M G R space forward slash D L V. So what this brings up is the Windows uh, script host, which is basically the software licensing for this machine. So we see that I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, mine's a special OEM license. And then some other stuff that doesn't really matter for me. And then uh, another interesting thing is if you see remaining Windows rearm count, so three. So this is basically the grace period, I think it's 90 days that I'm allowed to reactivate Windows or this particular license key in. So I have three times I can do it within 90 days that, from what I've heard. And partial product key is this last part right here and of course it's license. So the most important thing that we want to do to deactivate is make note of the activation ID right here. So it's 022 followed by this string of text. So then just to save time, I've already copied this activation ID string right here so you don't have to watch me type it out. So then followed by the special command to deactivate Windows, we're gonna type in S L M G R space forward slash U P K. And then followed by our activation ID string right here. So we'll just copy it and we'll click on paste and then we'll press enter. So now we see that uh, I uninstalled the product key successfully. So click okay. And then we should see that Windows is deactivated. So we'll go back to here, and then we see that Windows activation is now available. So it seems that we uninstalled our Windows license key, and so we should be free to transfer it to another machine. So let's try see if it actually works. So we can run slmgr space forward slash dlv, and then yeah. So it sees it says that the uh, product key was not found so we did uninstall it successfully so that's pretty much it for how to uninstall your windows 7's license key if you have any questions or comments about this feel free to let me know and as always have a nice day